Pin Designers, it's Craig Daviduke and I'm back with another art review. Today's topic is going to do with dealing with really complex art and um, using silk screening to overcome it. Before I dive into that, I want to talk about uh, the proper size for this pin. So in this case, um, we could have made it an inch, but the challenge we face is that the lettering, when you scale it down, is not going to hold color. Um, if you refer to my enamel pin designer cheat sheet available at enamelpin.store for free. You can grab this little dot and copy it onto your own designs and see there it is and you can tell that this is going to be a problem for this area of the pin and not so much for here. So we decided to go in at an inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter um, so we can maintain this as a colored lettering with enamel fill. Um, this crest up here, we could make this pin five inches wide and it still wouldn't be big enough to hold color. So how do we overcome this? We use a process called silk screening, which is exactly the same way they make t-shirts. Um, it's just done a little bit different uh, at pin size. And what we do is we um, use the hard enamel process. And the reason is, is that at uh, the hard enamel process has paint level with the surface. If you're unsure of what the different processes are, head over to our website and there's lots of pictures and tutorials on how to figure that out. Um, so let's dive into this. We have a two color silk screen here to cover off the design elements in the flag. So let's just zoom in and see how we structured this. Okay, so we just basically took a blue box and put two color silk screen over top of it. And um, so that's working out quite nicely. The challenge that, that, that gives us is that it adds two more setup charges and two more run charges. So um, right off the bat, that might add over $150 in cost to this 100 piece order. So it depends on what you're trying to do, if you're trying to resell them or if uh, it's a giveaway or, or whatever it is, you know, it affects your, your retail price. So um, let's try and design our way out of this little situation here. So I've compromised in that, um, I haven't gone any small, if I went to a one inch pin, I would have to silk screen these on. So that'd be a, a third design charge. The other thing I want to point out is that the A, the little internal here as we call it, is also filled in with metal. Uh, and that's because it's again, too small the whole color. So the other thing I want to point out here is that this sun in the original art submitted to us was yellow. Um, seeing as we're using gold electroplate, you can make this raised metal and then make these little uh, sunbeams raised metal as well. So um, the challenge we'd have is if we put yellow in here, it would look kind of goofy because it's a different color for the sunbeams. Um, we also use raised metal in the crown design. So um, yeah, that's some pretty advanced stuff for you there. If you have any questions, be sure to email me. Um, silk screening is a, is a great technique to use if you have a complex design, but in most cases, I'd, I'd recommend trying to design your way out of it before you even get to this phase. Like, who wants to pay extra when you don't have to? So, I hope this helps. Um, please submit your questions and comments at enamelpin.store or ultimatepromotions.biz. My name is Craig Daviduke, and uh, thanks very much. Mm -hmm.